It is the $130 billion question. What will happen to Jeff Bezos' 79 million shares of Amazon stock? Now, when Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos announced their divorce last week, divorce attorneys in Washington said they expected the couple to officially file that divorce in the next day or so. It would be fairly quick. That would be followed by a judge's decree confirming the terms of that. But as of this morning, the Cook County Superior Court in Washington tells me there has been no divorce filing. That means negotiations may not have even started yet, which means that this could go any number of directions. Now, under Washington state law, Bezos' shares are subject to, quote, just an equitable division, which in this case probably means half. So how could it go? Well, she and her four kids could get shares but allow Bezos, Jeff Bezos, to vote them so he doesn't lose the 16 percent voting power but loses some economics. Or she could become a large shareholder herself. That would be filled with a lot of unknowns when your ex-wife is your biggest shareholder. Or she could demand cash that would require him to borrow against those shares or sell them. And that would be the worst for shareholders because it would put a lot of pressure on the stock. Now, either way, we know from CEO divorces like Steve Wynn and Harold Hams, it's often the company's shareholders that get caught in the middle. But it's not... It would. There's the short term and the long term. It'd probably be worse for shareholders if he loses kind of creative control over the company, not if, even if he's forced to shell, sell them in the near term. That doesn't change the story for Amazon. If all of a sudden he's less able to control the company in the future, that's a much bigger... I can't believe this isn't negotiated yet. I thought that everyone said when what, this was it, first tweeted, oh, they must have already come to terms on this. And that's exactly the point I'm making today, which was that it all seemed wrapped up in a nice bow. We're friends. We probably have a deal. We all expected this to be filed. If they haven't even filed the divorce yet, which means they have the starting gun hasn't gone off for negotiations, then, then there's so many uncertainties here, here for shareholders. I just think it's going to be downward pressure on the stock until we get some clarity that they've at least filed for divorce. And they don't have those dual cl share classes, I gather. Absolutely not. So, and, and, and what I'm guessing is they're both matrimonial attorneys and securities experts in a room to figure out how do we give her what she deserves, whether that's half or less, but still allow Jeff to keep the voting control that even if she gets the economics, she could get the dividends, get the cash proceeds if the company's ever sold, unlikely. But in other words, she gets the economics, he keeps the voting. But that's a really tricky thing to structure, especially with a company as but big as Amazon. But imagine if it did have multiple share classes, like the newer companies that went public, like the Facebooks, like the Snaps. This would be a much bigger deal. And you see with a company like Continental Energy, Harold Hamm, to your point, it was a short-term bumpy ride for the stock as there were a lot of unknowns, yeah. and then oil prices went up and it was fine.